Sadil Narayan was just 19 when he tragically took his own life in April 2017. It shattered the hearts of his mum Siraj and sister Sapna, and I spoke to the brave pair about their grief, how grief can impact on mental health, and the stigma surrounding mental health in the Asian community. I think when I first received the news, I was really shocked. I just thought that, um, no, it's not true. But I didn't know how severe it was until I saw him and, and this was at the hospital. And I think it was really like, take, had taken me back that I'm thinking to myself, he's gonna be fine, he's gonna come out through this. But then obviously, it actually turned the other way and we knew that he wasn't coming back to us. So it was really difficult for us um, to sort of, you know, we really felt different emotionals coming in. We didn't expect that it was going to be something like um, that, you know, we're going to go through, get, you know, go get through this. I think it was just that, you know, we were trying to find it really hard to cope that we wanted to be normal again, but it, it wasn't normal. How can you be normal? And Sapna, how difficult would you say it's been for you? It's been very difficult. I, I do like different feelings, like angry that that he left us and tearful that I'm crying alone, like by myself. And I feel sad that he just, I miss him so much and can't cope with it, but I do. And Suraj, would you say that the grief's actually had a significant impact on your mental health as well? Um, definitely. Um, I would say it's really put me down, like, you know, feeling so depressed, why am I still here? Um, I know that, you know, I wouldn't want to leave my daughter at all, but it's just like, I feel like, you know, have I done something wrong that, you know, my son's left us? Um, it's, it's really difficult because obviously you go through those emotional feelings, anxiety kicks in, you start getting afraid as well, like sort of don't want to go outside, you don't want to mingle with people. So it's really had a big impact in my life. And there's obviously still a massive stigma around mental health in the Asian community as well. Have you sort of felt that and do you feel, I mean, at times that you've even been judged, I guess, by people from within the community? Um, I've been judged a lot. I've been sort of like, um, you know, I had, I've had some family members come up to me and saying that, you know, why has this happened? Is it your fault? Um, being a single mother, it's, you know, you've just been pinpointed that it's your fault, that you couldn't take care of your children well. Um, but the real reason is that, you know, they don't understand. The reason is because they feel that it shouldn't happen in our Asian community. They just feel, feel like, you know, okay, you just need to move on with it, get on with life, and that's it. Um, things like this is not it's meant to be discussed at all. Um, it's just that our Asian community is really difficult for them to understand. I'm hoping that, you know, it, it has now changed. It's opened up, you know, everyone's uh, views, because obviously we have a lot of mental health, actually, um, you know, talks happening. But I still feel it's not enough. I feel that, you know, we should be sort of, you know, especially in our Asian community, to have a chance to speak about it more in our community centres, in our, um, you know, just families getting, getting together as well. Um, it's, it's, quite, it's been quite difficult. And how have those people around you been since as well? I mean, for example, your close friends, close family, have they been quite supportive throughout and helped you get through the ordeal? Some, some family, close family, some friends have been supportive, but I think most of the, um, well, few friends I've had, and they just feel that I need to sort of just cope with it and get along with my life. But they don't understand the real grievance, what it's actually involved in, is involved. 
they don't understand that you know I go through different stages and those stages just keeps going round in circles and you know it's just that they expect me to just move on it's easy for them to say that and I feel really angry and it's really sort of feel like okay I don't want to see them again because you know it's the real understanding is they don't really understand me and what I'm going through. And amidst all the grief, what are some of the best memories that you've got of your time, you know, from with your son? Um, we have many memories. I think when we actually go out together, mm -hmm. it's like we visit place that you know where we always spend time together. Um, it could be to like local parks, it could be by the seaside, it could be many, many places. And we really do enjoy that, but it's just sad that, you know, he's no more with us. And I feel like that, you know, if he was, then, you know, it would be so different. We'd still be sort of enjoying, but it's just two of us and we do go out and we do make new memories, but it's just, I feel like it's not the same. So I'm sure you've got a lot of memories that you sort of cherish as well. Um, I miss his laugh, his jokes, his car rides. I miss all about him. I'm very like sad that he's just gone.